Hello and welcome to program 52 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Program 52 is what I've termed as a modified Renko program. So it's not a Renko in the uh, the sense that Renko charts are normally uh, calculated on TradeStation. It's a modified Renko and it's, it's different for a few reasons. One of which is that a regular Renko chart is built using Tick data, uh, tick data, whereas this program uses the data in the underlying bars. The other reason is that because this program can be applied to regular charts, rather than just having the Renko bars, which are generally drawn as being square boxes one upon another, what this thing does is it will stretch those boxes in the horizontal if uh, if a new box is being drawn on a regular chart just to take account of the time element that is inherent on a regular chart okay so in terms of calculating the bars we use either the high low or the close methodology and that is set as a user input so for example you see a euro dollar one minute chart here and you'll see that we're currently in an upward move we've got green boxes being drawn on one upon another and uh, the methodology we're using is the high low methodology which is set within the user inputs and I'll go through the user inputs in a moment but you'll notice we've got some lines over to the right now what will happen in real time if we were to go to equal this value here or exceed it then we would get another box being drawn all the way over to this bar here if, however, we go below or to this red line, which is equal to one box distance from the uh, low of the current green box, then at the close of the bar, we would draw a downward box. I've actually included a couple of additional videos on the, the Program 52 page, which show the uh, adding of a new bar in an upward move and the reversal. Now, for, for the close methodology, it's slightly different because it then rather than using the high or the low of the bar, as we do with the high low method, uh, methodology, we use the close. And the other difference is we only do this at the end of the bar. So even if it closed above the green line or at the green line during the bar, in other words, a tick at that value, we would not draw the box until the actual close of the bar, the last tick of the bar. Then we would draw the box. Okay, so I've got a few uh, few different charts here to demonstrate various things. And uh, one of the things you probably notice straight away is that these boxes in some cases are shaded, in some cases are completely shaded, and in some cases are not shaded at all. And that is because we're use, using the new class that is now available in TradeStation 9.1 version 22 and above. But as well as drawing these modified Renko boxes, we're also drawing some support and resistance lines. So if, for example, we look at the ES five minute, let's just bring that up. You'll see here that we've got a horizontal line that is drawing between the bottom of these red boxes here. And that, for instance, could represent potential uh, support. Go back to the chart and uh, let's just look at a pound dollar one minute again now we see here we've got again resistance but this kind of, this time we're seeing that uh, we're going up one box at a time and drawing a line a resistance line there now I'll go through the user inputs in a moment but the number of columns that we need to have in any particular pattern is set up as a user input as are the color of the lines and then finally if we were to look at the IBM three minute you'll see here that one of the options in the user inputs is rather than using a static box size which you can do but you can also use a variable box size and this is set up as a function of the ATR the average true range and you'll notice here if you look at these boxes here that uh, they're somewhat smaller than these boxes here which vary in size and get a little larger um, on subsequent bars and that's because we've got in this uh, particular chart we've got it set as variable now obviously this program is doing a lot of drawings so it makes sense not to have too much history loaded because that could potentially bog down your computer 
So let's just have a look at the inputs. Okay, so the first one here, fixed box. Now, if this is set to true, then we would use a fixed box size. And the size of the box is determined in this input here, fixed Renko box size. If, however, this is set to false, as it is in this particular case, then we use the variable Renko box size. And I've got this set to average true range with a period of 14. Now Renko shading, I do provide a key to this, but in this particular case, we've got a number seven, which means we get this sort of cross-hatched shading. If we were to make that uh, zero, we would get solid shading. And uh, if we made it one, we would just get the outlines of the boxes and you can choose. Up color, the modified Renko box up color, the DN color, is the modified Renko box down color. High low method, I just described that a moment ago. This is determining whether we use the high or low of a bar to determine whether we draw a new box on the chart or whether we do a reversal. Uh, number of lows, number of how highs. This is referring to the horizontal lines where columns, either the, uh, the bottom of the column or the top of the column is in a row. And uh, the colors for those are determined here num loss col and num highs col so obviously num highs col would refer to number of highs and uh, number lows col would refer to the number of lows we've also got the sloping lines that go up one box at a time and uh, call these num res so these would be the lower upward sloping lines and num support or rather num res would be the downward sloping lines and num support would be the upward sloping lines and the number here referring to how many columns would have to conform into that pattern before it would be shown on the chart and again you can determine the color of those using these two inputs here so i hope you might find this program useful and as i say there is another uh, there are two more short very short videos on the chart which just demonstrate how boxes are added using the high low methodology